Good evening and welcome back to Bedtime Prayers for Advent. Today we are going to take a fresh look at scripture again, this time with a practice called Lexio Divina. How Lexio works is we take a passage of scripture and we read it listening not for what it might have meant in its own context, but listening for whether there's a word or phrase in the passage that God wants to speak to us today. So I'm going to read our passage once through, and you're invited to listen for what word or phrase stands out for you. Don't overthink it, just pick something that grabs you. And then to ponder that in a moment of silence. If you're on one of the mediums that allows for a longer video, I will then pray with you for a period of time and reread the scripture passage. If you're not, I invite you to reread it for yourself. Today we're praying with Mary's Magnificat, as found in Luke's Gospel, Chapter 1. Dietrich Bonhoeffer has called this the first Advent hymn. So let us listen to Mary's words as she is speaking to her cousin Elizabeth, both of them pregnant by surprise, waiting for God's miracle in their community. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promises he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. May God bless to us this reading from the scriptures. 